Hello, dear ones. Um, I'm here in a national park, and this is a floor of a forest underneath of a, an oak tree. And you can see the, the difference between where the sun hits the ground and where the sun is filtered by the leaves of the tree. It looks, it looks um, both light and dark there. But um, in reality, what we have here is not light and dark. What we have here is just one forest floor, floor that appears to be light and dark. We have what you might call in real life what appears to be good and what appears to be bad or evil. And then what's really there, though, is, is what you might call the forest floor of our being, our, our ground of being. And here I'm looking up. I noticed the underside of the oak tree. And I noticed how very dark it looks. It looks almost black. And uh, in the modern vernacular, you have black for, for evil and white for, for good. But this black that we see here in this, this oak tree is, is really the home to um, many, many little animals and um, plants, thousands, I think. And so it appears to be dark. It appears to be black, but in fact it's a very good thing. So I just thought I'd mention a little about that. You know, in this dimension that we're in, we, we have astral beings that are considered from our point of view, both good and bad. We have angels, and we have the exact opposite. We have devils, demons, and all kinds of bad things. And those two forces balance each other out. I was reading um, a mythical book the other day and it was set in a time when there were heroes and magicians and white and black magic and all that. And there were gods walking the earth, just as there are today, but we don't recognize that to be true today, but they did back then. And so the passage that caught my eye in this book had to do with a uh, a hero and he was talking about he was talking to a mythical being about the god that the being served and why they had not saved the life of a child and the the being said that his god was constrained by the laws of the world in which it found itself not to do too great an act of good or it would tear apart the fabric of that world. And that struck me as being true of this world, too. Um, the more we fight injustice and social ills, and the more we fight Team Dark, the stronger they grow in darkness as we grow strong in light. I don't think that's a real solution. Um, I think what we can do is to recognize these, these dark entities in our life. Recognize that what's dark might really be what's light, very bright. And it may be what's supporting our existence here. And acknowledge, acknowledge this. Just accept this and under, feel this and be aware of it. Our very awareness of the dark changes it completely and will help this world rise to the fifth dimension. 
which is all light. Well, that's all for now, dear ones. Thank you for listening.